All right, guys. Uh, tonight's Twitch things will just have to be wait another week. Uh, I did some pre-records on the week uh, on the weekend if if you like those. But um, yeah, I need to do an out of band um, emergency update here. Uh, for any of you that live in this area or have friends or family that live in this area, um, if you're anywhere along this coastline here, you can see my cursor there. Now, this is the ex expected path of Hurricane Laura. I figured uh, earlier this week it might be uh, uh, increasing to a category four or five and uh, sure enough right now it's right on the cusp of a category five if it touches grant if it touches land as a category five it's gonna be worse than Katrina was uh, years ago um, so this is no uh, laughing matter here if you I'd say anywhere within a few miles of the coastline anywhere along here so Houston's already got evacuation orders here, but uh, regardless of any recommendations, my recommendation is if you're anywhere in this area within a few miles of the coastline, don't wait for evacuation orders. You need to uh, get your stuff, get what you need, and start heading away from this expected path. Of course, it could go doesn't have to follow this expected path but that's the the, the forecast uh, a category 5 hurricane is basically everything's gonna be <laughs> wiped out along its path uh, all the infrastructure housing it's toast um, if you now that being said if you're not in the even if you're not in the direct path I mean it's gonna lose a lot of energy as it, as it hits here um, you're gonna in fact this this is just advice period uh, these these natural disasters and human disasters human caused disasters are going to be in, keep increasing in severity and frequency you are going to like <laughs> we've got this problem on the east coast and, and California is on fire right now um, so you're going to want to be able to have everything that you need to go within five minutes and be able to go and escape whatever um, whatever you need to evacuate from. So you're um, some practical mat things to keep in mind. Uh, I wouldn't if you if you are used to um, running your car until it's empty. I would say start filling up at uh, about half like don't let it go too low be it go off because because you never know when you'll just you won't be able to hit a gas station because when this type of stuff happens and everyone makes a rush on the gas stations you ain't getting gas uh so be prepared ahead of time just practical matters um Keep some bottled water both in your house and if you have a car, keep it, keep some bottled water in your car. Um, a little bit of food. Um, water is the most pressing thing, but a little bit of food, whether it's just some granola bars, something that'll, you know, um, keep, you know, over a year or so, just sitting in the, the heat of the car. So, um, yeah, I mean... That's a, that's about it for now. This is just a quick update. Um, so, just in case a number of you haven't been following the news and you're just <laughs> and you're just uh, headset on and not paying attention to what what's going on. Um, hopefully, I, I save you because thousands of people are about to die. Um, they're, they're not going to take this seriously or they don't even know and so hopefully i can i can save a few um anyway um uh, yeah i don't want anyone here just being another statistic that uh, i'm going to hear about uh in the news uh 
tomorrow because it, it hits it is um it's wednesday eve right now it's ex it's now already uh expected to be hitting and so over over the course of tonight and uh, through the morning it's gonna be uh, start ripping through the expected pathways uh through the louisiana texas uh border here so anyway keep safe guys and um also, um, don't panic. Um, uh, panic is just going to ca cause you to make mistakes. Now you know this is happening. Keep a level head. Pack what you need. Um, you might still, you don't have a lot of time, but from if you're watching this, you know, now, tonight, um, you might have a couple hours to, to get your stuff together but get it together and for those that aren't in this in this area um just now you got even more time to prepare so when something like this does happen um you don't have to stress about it you can quickly throw your important stuff together the stuff that's really important to you um and emergency supplies and you can boom go that's it for now and uh yeah we'll have that the normal um i'm going to be doing a talk on uh masks tomorrow um yes i know that lovely topic but i have to address it from a you know clear logical scientific point of view anyway thanks